Fix Your Website, Part 1. Fix the Ask. Your website has to immediately make sense to a visitor. I like to think of this as passing the grunt test, which is basically the answer to three questions. What do you provide? What does it do for somebody? And what do they have to do to get it? If, as a visitor, I can answer all three of those questions immediately at a glance from looking at my phone, I may continue with your site. If I can't, I'm going to get bored, I'm not going to get the point, and my mind is going to have to start working. And at that point, it's just a, a, a ticking clock, right? The person is going to get distracted by something and you're going to lose them. But here's the thing about having a good ask. If you have one, you've got two if not three of these questions covered. Let me show you. This is an actual website that a friend sent to me because I think of marketing as a flywheel. So he thought that Flywheel Associates would be a wonderful name. I don't think it's a wonderful name because I try not to name things after Marx Brothers properties. So this site is, and the tragedy of it is, like assume that the people behind this site are brilliant and they're an asset to everybody who hires them. It could be true, like it's probably true actually. Just because someone is not good at writing a website doesn't mean that they're incompetent at other things, doesn't mean they're not good at business. But the problem here is that I can't figure out what they do from this headline. It's kind of like a Zen riddle. I mean, transforming business into strategic momentum. It could be a lot of things. It could be too many things. What is the sound of one hand clapping? So here's a pro tip. Nobody goes to the web in search of enlightenment. They go to the web in search of the solution to a problem. And if your website can name the problem and offer a solution, then you're going to have a lot of their attention. If you make them think or confuse them or try and force them to be enlightened, they're going to go elsewhere. So just by changing this button to buy now or buy consulting, we have to answer the question exactly what is someone getting? And you see how when you look at that subscribe button, you have no idea of what you're getting when you click it. I mean, you know this site is going to flog you for an email address, but what kind of emails are they going to send you? Are they going to be good? Are they going to be bad? What solution to what problem? You just have no idea. And in the absence of a, a clear explanation, you're going to assume the worst. So if we change it to something like this, free PDF, normalize your cash flow. Now, I don't know whether this company solves this problem or not, but you can see how by identifying a problem, you've automatically got someone's attention. If you've named somebody's pain, they're in. They want more. Now, if I change the ask to cash flow consulting, you see how this becomes even clearer. And now you just almost fall on a better headline. Never worry about your cash flow again. Well, wouldn't that be nice? Now take a look at my website. Well, what do I do and what do I want you to do? I help you fix your website. Now, if you look at this ask, you'll see that it could be better, right? But that's because this video I'm doing right now is part of that better ask. Instead of just the PDF, which is super useful and will still be included, that button will now drive people to a series of short videos, including this one called Fix Your Website. And here's the other part of my ask, the packages. Now, getting to this point was kind of agonizing particularly because these packages are really one size fits none. I mean, they'll work. Maybe some people will be like, yeah, that's exactly what I need, but maybe no engagement actually fits neatly into a bucket for what I do. But that's okay, because it's not about me putting the perfect bucket up there. It's about me clearly communicating what I do and how I provide value. The act of putting it into a package makes someone go, oh, yeah, I could use that and maybe a little bit more of this, and then we can have a better conversation about it. Even if you have an imperfect package, the act of really drilling down on it makes it communicate so much more clearly. There's a lot more that could be said about answering these three questions in a fast, compelling way, but for now, let me boil it down to a few suggestions that you can use on your site right away. Have you been as specific about what you provide as you can be? Don't sell mobility solutions when you can sell cars. Don't sell cars when you can sell sports cars or sell minivans. Now, maybe you have a company that sells all of those things, 
but guaranteed you don't sell equal amounts of those things, whatever the things are. One of these things is the most profitable for your business. So lead with that. Have you asked customers what they are buying? This is very different than what you might sell. You might sell cars, but I'm buying freedom, or maybe I'm buying status, or maybe I'm buying the feeling of being young again, or maybe I'm buying the feeling that my 16 year old kid is safe behind the wheel. Products are finite. Benefits are infinite. And to figure this out, you just have to ask. Ask your customer what they bought, what they got out of it, what problem it solved, how it made them feel. This kind of research is invaluable and don't, don't get tricky with it. Don't think of it as focus group research. Don't, you can do a survey, but really the best way to do this is to get somebody on the phone and ask them and then shut up and listen. It is amazing what you will learn. And lastly, make a package. Even if you don't have packages, go through the exercise of making a package. How much does it cost? How is it delivered? What is it going to give somebody? How long does it take? Making a package will force you to answer a thousand and one how questions, and that will make the benefit of what you do much clearer to your client and perhaps to yourself. So best of luck, even an incremental improvement can make a big difference in your website. And if you really get stuck, I'm here to help.